This is the Wisconsin Badgers versus the the uh, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, and the game will take place in Soldier Field in Chicago. I would go to the game, but my mom's in town. I don't think she'd be very happy if I went to a game instead of hang instead of hang out with her. Maybe next time. So let's kind of go through what to what I'm what I see with both these teams so far. Wisco has great defense. They're ranked second in yards allowed. Their only weak spot is the passing game. Hopefully the secondary will clean up ever since that Penn State game, but I'm not confident in the offense yet. Graham Mertz, the quarterback, has to have a day. Running the ball 8 out of 10 times will not work against any team, essentially. The Notre Dame defense is not that great, but it's a balanced defense. The run defense is not as weak as the pass defense, so there's not really a weak spot there. Notre Dame had very close games. Um, against Florida State and Toledo. Their defense allowed 27 points per game, though, which isn't really that impressive. But Jack Conan, he's been having a career high so far. He had, for through two games, maybe three, I had to check, but he's had eight TDs to only two interceptions. Which I think is a good start to a season, especially for Jack Conan, where he wasn't really shining as much at Wisconsin. Because that's, how, that's another thing. Jack Conan is playing his former team. So I bet this is a little tricky for him. And one thing I want to point out, I think Wisconsin winning this game would be a good case to show that they can have a chance of taking over the Big Ten West. Here's kind of why. Notre Dame has a greater offense than Iowa. I think everyone can agree on that. So containing that offense will be comforting for the Iowa-Wisconsin matchup in October. The reason why I mentioned Mertz and how he needs to have a day is because Iowa's run D is so hard. Running the ball every time will not weaken the Iowa run defense. Merce needs to show he can throw a ball against a ranked team because the pass D for Iowa is the weaker side of the defense, but it's still pretty good. Just ask Riley Moss or Matt Hankins from Iowa. Overall, my prediction this game will be this. Mertz is a knucklehead. Anyone that watches a single game Wisconsin football knows that. Mertz will throw a pick or cause a fumble, but he'll at least have a TD. The run game will step up, and we'll see a performance, hopefully, from Jalen Berger and Ches Malusi. Jake Ferguson is Mertz's favorite target. I think he'll at least get five receptions. And as I mentioned, Jack Conan is playing his old team. And I think he will want to show his team that they made the wrong decision taking Mertz over Conan. But... Don't get me wrong. Don't take it. Don't take it the other way. I don't think he has any bad blood, but he does want to show that he is doing good with his new girlfriend. <laughs> I think he'll at least have two TDs, at least. And Kyron Williams from Notre Dame, he's a pretty good running back. I like watching him play. I say he'll at least have 50 yards. And how it will probably go in the last half is um, Notre Dame's defense will start to allow more points. They'll kind of get a little tired. And it might be decided by a final drive from the Wisco's run game. And then they'll the defense will have to step up and stop Notre Dame on their final drive. Notre Dame has not faced a defense like Wisconsin yet. And all of their games have been close. However, Notre Dame has played tougher offenses than Wisco. But I believe it will still be close just like the other games. And because I trust Wisco's defense more, I'm going to say they will win by one to three points max. So Wisco beating Notre Dame this Saturday.